All right, buenos dias, mis amigos. Establish this glorious reign on the earth, and we'll we'll look at that. And then even after this lengthy thousand-year reign where there's righteousness, where everything is right, everybody is blessed, everybody's prospering, everybody's successful, it's just glorious. Yet at the end, there's going to be another rebellion, and then there's going to be a final judgment. Yeah, so think about that. And this is what 99.9% .9 of the teachers today are teaching, this idea that there's going to be a thousand years of righteousness after the Lord Jesus comes. And then there's going to be rebellion. So this idea is that after Jesus comes, people will still be having babies. And that's really what it's all about. And then, you know, living their life like they are now. And um, the idea is that everything will be righteous. Nobody will be committing sin. There will be no sin for a thousand years. And then all of a sudden, there's going to be rebellion. Well, uh, so the, this is all there's all kinds of problems with this so you, the idea is that what nobody's gonna die during this thousand year period I mean think about it I, I, I really want people to think about this the wages of sin is death Right? But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So, if there is no sin for a thousand years, there cannot be any death. Alright, and then, so, while... It, okay, so, <clears throat> while for this entire thousand years, there's nobody committing one single sin, why, all of a sudden would Satan be loosed and there be rebellion against God? Why? So, is anybody saved? They're, people are living a thousand years and what, they're not saved? Or they're saved and then they lose their salvation after the thousand years hey, so I don't think people are putting any thought into this at all, all right, and I want to go point to 1 Corinthians 15 and I want you to really really think about this okay in 1 Corinthians 15 it says, For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the firstfruits, afterward they that are Christ at his coming. Speaking of the resurrection. So when Jesus comes, then are we resurrected? Alright, so <clears throat> contrast this or compare this with what these guys are teaching. They're teaching Jesus comes and then we're resurrected at his coming. So, how does this thousand years play a part in this. All right, you, the only thing that you can claim is that those that are resurrected will rebel against God after a thousand years. That's your only, you put yourself in this corner where the saved are going to be condemned. There's no other option here. Christ, the first fruits, afterward they that are Christ at his coming. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 
For the day of the Lord will come as a thief of the night, in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. So when Jesus comes, the heaven shall pass away. And the elements, <clears throat> excuse me, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The elements shall melt with fervent heat when the Lord comes. The earth also will pass away. And the works that are therein shall be burned up. Knowing this, how can you then say that things will continue as they are now, except without sin? It, there's no logic in that. It's, it's interesting because um, there's this verse here, you know, saying, Where's the promise of his coming? For since the Father fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Now, is that going to be true after Jesus? returns no second Peter chapter 3 is very clear when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven the heaven and the earth will pass away and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and the works that are therein shall be burned up so things will not continue as they have since the beginning of creation. <laughs> it's interesting here in verse 3 it says, Knowing this verse, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walk, walk, walking after their own lust. So what are they teaching? These guys are teaching this idea that Jesus will come and all things will continue as they have since the beginning of creation. People will be marrying <clears throat> and giving in marriage. Right? People will be having babies. Right? But that's contrary to what Jesus teaches. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. So all things do not continue as they were, or as they have since the beginning of creation. <clears throat> right? They don't. When Jesus comes, everything's going to be different. Everything is going to be different. 